What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Now, if you've been having issues, the newest update that was released today should fix them. And they updated a bunch of things in here. So you can see what's new, improved music streaming, as well as phone call quality. So if you've had issues where maybe you had your phone in a certain pocket or your back pocket, or I don't know, just maybe not in direct line of sight with the headphones, it might have cut out on you. And now I was actually having that issue recently as well. It looks like this update fixes that. I saw some comments and it says it has fixed that. Also, uh, phone quality, call quality has been improved as well. Uh, the other, which I know some other people have been having that issue as well, resolved temporary error that occurs when ambient sound is initiated. So that would be, you'd get like a certain error basically on the screen that would stop uh, ambient sound from you know working properly. So that This fixes that. And then also they modified the battery level display. It displays lower battery level between the two earbuds. An absolute awesome update from Samsung. It's This is a much needed one for sure. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've done this update and has fixed the issues that you're having with the headphones because it should at this point. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and an app that's gonna come, looks like anyway, pre-installed on it that's made by Microsoft. The app itself is called Your Phone App. I know, not a really good name, but kind of describes what's gonna go on. And what's going to go on is it'll allow your Galaxy Note 10 to deliver texts and notifications to your Windows 10 PC in real time. Also, it'll be able to mirror the entire screen to your PC with, again, this is all through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, not to, you don't have to do, you have no cables attached here. And you'll also be able to drag and drop content like photos and video between the computer and the phone. Now, since this app is most likely going to become pre-installed with the Galaxy Note 10, I would assume it's probably also gonna eventually come to the other Galaxy phones as well, and maybe you'll be able to download it or sideload it and get it to work. But even though it seems like it's a, it, its own feature, I would assume it's gonna come to other phones. So why wouldn't it come to the Galaxy S10? The S10 is basically the same phone as the Note 10, at least spec-wise in terms of processor, RAM, and storage amounts. So it definitely should be able to, and then it maybe it'll trickle down there from to the older phones like the Note 9, the S9, and phones like that. But very cool feature, kind of what already happens with iPhones in, in, in some ways. iPhones, you can uh, you have ways to you know transfer files fairly easy. You have iMessage and FaceTime all linked up. So it's nice to see some commonality coming here between PCs and Galaxy phones at this juncture. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. A question out to you guys is, do you think that's a cool must have feature if you're getting a Galaxy Note 10, the new Microsoft, your phone app, in terms of it being able to you know, work on your computer and would you actually use it? That's the other part of it. Let me know in the comments down below. Me, myself, I would like to think I will use it. Um, I'm on my PC a, a fair amount, especially at night when I'm doing all my video editing and just doing work overall. So I probably will use it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.